good evening. Alongside this week's video will be short. But I think the only thing you can really talk about this week is the European referendum. Marsh is going to vote. Remain? Yeah. I couldn't vote because I didn't register on time. It's a pretty pathetic excuse. I thought I was registered, but when I checked with the council, they said it was too late. So I wanted to vote Remain. But we'll see. I reckon there is serious potential for Brexit. I reckon there's serious support for it. But hopefully, Britain remains. For the sake of unity, if anything. I know my mum is actually voting to leave. My personal feeling, I can't even speak like I know too much on the matter. And I think you can use any excuse, people using all kinds of propaganda to support either side, but I just feel that it's better to remain in the European Union. Propaganda basically. They only have pencils. But it's like they're trying to manipulate people's votes. I know. A conspiracy theory, you know. Anyway, fingers crossed. Thank you for using Sainsbury's self checkout. You know, Sainsbury's local, I don't know what's up with the store but their deals are always so expensive. I feel like these local stores are set up just to take money off you. With their no deals, limited choice of options. You know what, they're probably going through all the votes with the pencils they forced everyone to write in the votes with. No, I feel like in the opinion, you know. People must be respected having fought and lost the battle to remain in the EU. The country should have a new Prime Minister. Clearly. There are some very difficult days ahead. The value of the pound has already fallen. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's woken up. We've been evicted. We've been snaked by the mandem. My mum voted to leave. You didn't vote. I didn't vote. Oh my God. But I don't think it would have made a difference because London voted to remain. If it's not clearer than now, it's clearer than ever. People don't care what London think. The country is very, very, very divided. I get the impression that people voted to leave because they're not happy but they don't know why they're voting to leave, they just want some change. All I'm saying is hold tight, I've got a Nigerian passport, so. To remain felt like the right thing to do, but I had a sneaky impression that everyone else was just thinking a different thing to London. But this is a huge gamble. It was always gonna be a big year because this is the year I graduate. The world's also chosen that this is the year that we leave the EU. Certainly we have to look into the positives now of leaving the EU and being an independent state. We have to remind ourselves that this doesn't mean that the UK is outside of Europe, but the country has spoken. It means uh, the pound has lost its value. The pound has done Tottenham Hotspur season. All evidence of a snakery. Only Scotland and Northern Ireland backed London. I knew Twitter would be popular. I knew it. Welcome to day one of this ununited kingdom. Well, one thing this vote proved is that no one's united. No one's unified. You cannot have 48% of a country voting to remain in the EU and expect everyone to be happy. I just used my new corrupters to flip and play football with a modern ball, but you know, for the culture. Ironic as well. There's nothing in that there's going to be more work now because there's going to be less foreigners. Is that what this referendum thing is about? Racism? <laughs> Potentially. <laughs>
typical English to find. You didn't make it, bro. You didn't make it. You didn't make it. I you can't. It's too soon. It's too soon. You know what, yeah? I saw several people when we drew Iceland saying, watch when we bottle it. And it's like, when I watched Italy, that was a masterclass. That's how you That's how you control a game to what we're just seeing now. England just bottling it once again. You see it? You see the bullshit? I saw the bullshit. <sighs> Yeah. But what's your opinions on the Brexit? Jack and your I want to kill myself. Jack's gonna kill himself. Yeah. I'm gonna kill myself, but for different reasons. Me. I'm half Irish, so. What do you think about Northern Ireland? Because obviously they voted to remain, but now they're saying they want to break away. Um, I think that they didn't need to make a split between the North and the South of Ireland anymore. So. Yeah. Sam. One not closing word. Hmm? The referendum. What do you think about it? Oh, I'm living on that here. Alright, cool. Just got home. So we've been kicked out of the Euros and we've been kicked out of the EU. You know, shout out to Chile because they were amazing in the Copa America. Hopefully Wales can do what remains of the United Kingdom proud. And yeah, just in regards to the EU, it's a complete fiasco. Labour's falling apart. They don't trust Jeremy Corbyn anymore. Welcome to 2016. It's carnage. I'll see you in the next video. Positive times. Hopefully. This is England. This is England. Where you can be a villain or a victim. Where you make money, make it out of white pen. That's the idiot's guide to the man of my friend.